So up here, what we want to have, you know, I'm talking about that. Um, what we're going to do is, remember I talked to you guys, um, previously we've been just working on law of signs with one solution. And then there's the case when you had two solutions, or no solutions. Now we're going to look at the case where we're going to have two solutions. So the important thing we look at um, when we're going to have two solutions is one, we have to have a part where we can uh, be using our law of signs to work on this. And the one thing about working with law of signs is we have to have two sides and an opposing angle. That opposing angle, um, it means that it's just opposite of one of our side moves, all right? So looking up here, I have A, A, and B. Now for it to be two solutions, my angle that I'm being given has to be acute, all right? So we're gonna be looking only at an acute angle. And the next thing is that's, that opposing side, A, has to be between the height and our other side length, B, all right? So first of all, how do we figure out what H is? Well, remember guys, if you need to figure out what H is, you, H is gonna be your direct line down for your height. To figure out the side of H, if you're given A, it simply is just gonna be sine of A equals your opposite over your hypotenuse, right? And if I wanna figure out what H is, I multiply by B on both sides, and what I get is H equals B times sine of A. So let's see here we have a problem. I give my angle, which is 20.5, which I know is acute, right? So let's go and figure out what our H is. So all I simply need to do is take B, which is 31. So take 31 times the sine of 20.5. And I end up getting 10.85. So I can say H equals 10.85. 8, 5. And then I look at that. Can I rewrite this with A being in the middle? 10.35 is less than 12, which is less than 31, right? So therefore, this has two solutions. Now, <laughs> so this has two solutions. Now, why does this have two solutions? Well, the important thing you guys to understand, and I didn't really draw a good picture here. Let's kind of draw this A to look like this. Well, the reason why this has two solutions is if you were to kind of think of this as like a hinge, all right, this could rotate back and you could also, as long as my angle A is the same, the height would still be the same, but you could also draw another triangle that would look like that. That would be more of a, this oblique with, um, like that, with this as a obtuse angle. Does everybody see that? So when you have that angle and B and A, you could write it like this, or as long as your um, A is between the height and your B, you can write it as two different sides, okay? So that is the case when you have two solutions. So now you guys have an opportunity when you're given your problems to look for certain constraints to determine if it's no solutions or two solutions, or one solution. Oh, I guess I should probably, um, oh, well, I'll just figure, I'll show you guys how to figure that out in a second. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do that as a problem.